Nokia Lumia 928. It's got a case on it here. Um, sorry for the crap lighting. Um, I was gonna go over some of the specs of the phone before we got started, just to kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with. This is a Windows phone. Um, so this was released May of 2013. Um, it's got 10.1 millimeter thickness. It's 162 grams. Um, it's 4.5 inches. It's 768 by 128 pixels. It's um, an 8 megapixel camera, 1080p. It's got 1 gig of RAM. It's got Snapdragon S4 Plus is what they're saying. And it's got a 2000 milliamp battery. Um, this is the Verizon version, so it's CDMA and GSM unlocked. Um, it's got a micro SIM tray. It's got AMOLED cap capacitive. Here I am over here trying to do big terms. Um, touch screen 16. Um, I'm trying to read there. 16 M colors. Okay. Um, it's got Corning and Gorilla Glass 2, Pure Motion HD, um, clear black display. It's micro Microsoft Windows Phone 8. Um, is what it's saying. So um, it's 32 gigs of storage, um, which is actually really good. It's got a really good camera, actually. Um, the selfie camera is 1.3 megapixels. Um, it does have a um, headphone jack, which most of all of the older ones do. You can't remove the battery. Um, it's saying brand new, basically. It's up to 606 hours um, of standby, 11 hours of talk time, 80 hours of music play. Um, these only came in black and white um, for the color. So, um, so first off, a lot of people are wondering what is on, here I am with my, my iPhone 10. Um, people are wondering what is on the, the app store. So Facebook is something that is on the app store, but it is a beta. Um, so every time that I log in and log back out, see it will say there's an error and i'm connected to wi-fi at the moment um it keeps saying over and over again that there is an error every time that i try to log in um the phone is pretty thick it's actually kind of heavy um it's actually not too bad um i haven't dropped the phone or anything but um it's still in pretty good condition um the battery's kind of decent ish depending on how much you're on it um I'll, as all windows phones if you swipe to the right you have a menu here um what's nice about this windows phone is um basically um you can pretty much remove everything on the um menu over here um there's not a lot of bloatware um, a lot of things can actually be um, uninstalled which is nice with this phone where a lot of other phones you can't uninstall a lot of stuff um so for like most of the reviews People don't really go through a lot um, on the reviews. They don't talk about like, um, they don't go through each thing and kind of go over it because it would be a long video. But like for alarm, you know, you'd go in, you'd press plus, you'd go through, you'd set the alarm. Um, I kind of wish in some of the reviews that people would go more through each app and just kind of like see what's going on um, with each app. Um, like this one is the app highlights is the best way to discover great apps in the store allow collection of anonymous usage so you go in here and it's loading and it continues to load I'm not sure what's gonna happen here it's kind of taking forever so um, we have battery saver here um, it tells you what has been using battery. If you click on it, it will. you can go on and say allow run in the background. Um, it tells you app in the background, the percentage of the app in the background, and then allow app to run in the background even when the battery saver is on. And so um, I only really have Facebook on here at the moment, so I don't have a lot of other apps. Calculator is like any other calculator app. Calendar is like pretty much every other calendar app. Um, what's cool is once you start typing stuff in, it appears over, over each day. Um, the camera is pretty good. It's actually not too bad. Um, it's actually not bad at all. Um, I took a picture, I think the other day, and it's actually not bad. That's with the flash on. It's actually pretty good. 
for eight megapixels that is. Um, the focus is actually pretty good on the camera too as well. Um, oh, it's already in calendar. Um, Cortana, everyone pretty much knows what that is. Everyone's been, um, been on a Windows computer, I'm pretty sure. Um, here's your cell cellular data limit. So it's telling me how much of the Wi-Fi data I've used and how much of cellular. Um, I haven't introduced a SIM card to this phone, so um, yeah, there's not gonna be any SIM data. Um, so you could set your limit. Um, this is over the last 30 days. Um, there's Facebook, there's games, which I don't have any games on here. Um, at all, but I mean, I don't have an Xbox One. I have a PS4, so I imagine if you had an Xbox One, you could jump on here and go through the games. There's quite a bit of games on here. Um, sorry, I keep getting an itch. Um, there's an Instagram beta, and I'm kind of having an issue with this too. Um, I logged in and I was on Instagram um, and it keeps kicking me off with the Facebook and the Instagram. I don't know if that's just this phone. I don't know. Everyone knows Internet Explorer. Location services is off, of course. We're getting the map ready for you. I'm just trying to show what each thing looks like close okay so um here's your directions thing start my location um where you are now um and then search an address so that's what that looks like um there's messaging which i mean it's pretty pretty cut and dry you just enter in your phone number you type in hey how's it going you know, um, and then there's an attachments thing. You can attach picture, video, your location, voice note, contact. Um, and then there's um, the speak option. And it's gonna probably, you, know, you could search your messages there if you had a bunch. There's settings. If you go into settings, text message backup, download messages from the last month, MS, SMS delivery, um, picture delivery, um, send acknowledgement, group text, um, emergency alerts. So there's that settings in the messaging. Um, there's Messenger for Facebook, which I downloaded. So that is in the Windows Store. Now I haven't logged into the Messenger to see how it was, but it it is an option that is actually on um, the Windows Phone. A lot of people are wondering actually what apps are there in 2019. Um, I will get to the Play Store in a minute. So um, you can add music from the, the Xbox Store or you can add music from your computer. Um, I don't have any songs on here, but this is where they would show up here. And then My Verizon, Nokia Creative Studio. There is some Nokia apps on here. Focus and Blur. I did see that there was some cute things like that. Collage, recent. Okay, so. Jade. Amber's cute. Okay, let me go back up to the top. Is there other options? Whoops. Edit, focus object. Wondering if you kind of like colored in where the background, I mean, I'm not doing a very good job, but oh, oops, did not mean to do that. Color pop. To remove the color. Okay. So pretty much it's a step by step process here. Um, so in. 
so like for the regular one, original, I would go in here, I'd hit edit. I would, for focus object, you would like color in where she is and then you'd hit next and color the whole background and it will just focus on her. So, then there's the color pop. So it says tap areas you want color in. So like if I would color, so it, it chose them basically. And then, hmm. all right, well I was getting the idea. <laughs> Okay, so back here. Okay, so there's Nokia music. Um, use my location, personalize. So there's a mix radio where you could kind of pick what you want to listen to. Um, I know it was like given the option to search here a little bit ago. And then I noticed that it was bringing up um, some different artists and stuff to like listen to. Um, yeah, zero songs, mix radio, store. And then for office, um, you know, that's for like, you know, Word and PowerPoint and Excel. There's OneDrive, OneNote, Outlook. Pandora actually works on here. You log into your Pandora. Uh, people is who's in your phone. I don't have anybody in there, but you just click them. And then you could link accounts here. Um, you could pin them to your favorites um, or you can edit them. Um, then it will tell you to connect. You can actually like have their Facebook here, history of text messages and phone calls, their profile. Um, but yeah, there's this. And then set up a new account. And then there's groups and family room. The family room is pretty cool. Everyone can kind of text each other back and forth in there. Just the people in your list. Phone is just like normal. Photos are just like normal. That's another collage thing that I downloaded. There's podcasts on here. Um, just like iPhone. So for the settings, so for the settings, there's the themes in here. So dark is the best that I've seen on the reviews. It says to do dark um, to save battery. And then for your colors, you have many colors to choose from. So we'll go with teal and then choose a photo for your background. Um, there's some default stuff. So like I'll just do this one, for example, kind of like scale over, hit hit that and then boom and there's my background if you hold the back button it brings up all the apps you've opened so then I go back to here so then there's ringtones vibrate on reminders is the Nokia calendar um, play for a sound like you could turn the sounds on for like camera shutter all of that manage app sounds so choose your quick actions all of that stuff you can choose sounds for your apps in here um there is the lock email accounts oops i was about to say lock screen so i don't really care that's an old account i was just using it to get in um lock screen you could set up um which things appear on your lock screen show artist when playing music on the lock screen choose a background so here's the things that you could choose a background from um, screen timeout and password, um, notifications and actions. So it's letting you like put the notifications on. Um, Wi-Fi access is just like regular Wi-Fi. Turn it off or on. Bluetooth, cellular. Um, don't roam um, or there's roam. Um, don't use cellular data for limited Wi-Fi connection. Um, internet sharing. It, this phone does have NFC. There's VPN. Apps Corner, I have no clue what that is. It says it lets you give people access to selected apps on your phone so they get a customized start screen when they use your phone. Is what it says. There is a Kids Corner. Um, there's a Workplace account. 
There's a battery saver. So I'm at 84%. I don't even know what it was when we started doing this. Um, I have the battery saver on always. Data sense is what I showed you. Storage. That's how much storage is left. Um, I don't, this does not have a expandable card slot. Project your screen, find my phone, back up, sync my settings, driving mode, quiet hours, so it's like a do not disturb. Location is off. Um, advertising ID. Oh, okay. Date and time, keyboard. So I'm guessing a little glitch there. You can add other languages to your keyboard. Region, feedback, speech, ease of access, phone update. I don't think there's any updates at this time. Well, we will come back. Extras and info. So it's just kind of going over release stuff. Um, Nokia account, backup assistant plus, display. So sunlight readability, battery saver brightness, Lumia color profile. I was already in that. Um, accessories. Headphones, speakers, and all that other stuff. Call and SMS filter. Blocked numbers, so you can block people on here. Block calls and SMS. Um, this is touch screen sensitivity and double tap to wake the phone. So then there's applications on here that it shows. There's the system, all that stuff. So if we go back, we were in settings, I believe. Yep storage sense store video voicemail and wallet so in the store here there's a bunch of stuff that you can pay for um, on here there's good suggestions there's decent stuff um, so weather apps chat apps let's go into chat apps Nearby chat, Zello, don't know what that is. Oops. Nimbus. Okay, there's not very many options. Music lovers, essential apps, featured apps. So there's a bunch of different ones. Podcast Lounge, Keeper. Um So here's ones that you've never really heard of. So here's where like Messenger was. Um, there's OneDrive, Messenger, there's WhatsApp, MSN Money, Lumia Selfie, Skype, Pandora, Instagram. There's a flashlight, there's a YouTube, there's a Netflix, there's Spotify, there's Twitter, there's Viber, there's PixArt, there's My at and there's Upgrade Advisor, there's Kindle, there's ringtone makers, there's Uber, there's Windows Insider. There's a bunch of different ones. VLC for Windows Phone. There's iHeartRadio. There's Text Plus. There's a battery saver one. There's Duolingo. There's a QR code reader. There's LinkedIn. My piano phone. There's a police scanner, POF is on here, Wish is on here, Adobe Photoshop is on here, My Cricut is on here, Badoo is on here. Audiobooks is on here. Cloud Music is on here. Craigslist is on here. 
there's a dictionary, there's Fitbit, there's MP3 tube, there's backgrounds, there's a couple different games I see. There's an FM radio, there's another flashlight, there's been a couple different flashlights. Soundhound is on here. There's um, the messenger light for Facebook. Adult emojis, ooh. Domino's Pizza. PayPal is on here. Skype for Business is on here. Univision is on here. More wallpapers. Roku is on here. Nimbuzz is on here. Vimeo is on here. Dub Smash is on here. Flipboard is on here. iFunny is on here. MyTube, I heard, is the best one for YouTube. Hot or Not is on here. Twitch TV is on here. There's another flashlight. TV Blaze is on here. Zello is on here. Yelp is on here. Meet Me is on here. Another dictionary. There's an HD movie thing. There's a hidden camera. There's ghost radar. There's relax melodies. I use that on my phone for my kids. Um, there's an active fitness one. Crunchy roll is on here. There's another dictionary. AT&T mark the spot is on here, which is good because AT&T sucks. I'm sorry. So you can let them know where their crappy data parts are. United Airlines is on here. Um, LED flashlight is the best. Horoscope is on here. There's Love SMS is on here. Okay, there's Translator, Who's Call, Perfect Lock. There's another different kind of maps on here. Um, there's File Managers. There's Battery Status, Annoying Ringtones, Dog Whistle. There's a whole bunch of different stuff on here. The Windows App Store has updated pretty good. Um, there's a whole bunch of different newer things on here now. Um, there's a bunch of different things on here now. But I kind of wanted to go over the App Store because not a lot of people are actually going over the App Store. Um, the only thing that I didn't see, I think, was Snapchat. So that is something that I want to check out. So it does not look like Snapchat is on here. So I don't know if they have a knockoff Snapchat, but it looks like it is not on here. But if you hold down the back button and you come over here, you can X out, if I can do it here, you can X out of stuff that you were in and then it goes back to home. Um, there's the volume up and down button on the side here. There's the power button. Then there's the camera on the side here, the bottom button. Um, the camera's actually pretty good. Um, I was surprised with how good the camera was, um, with how good of pictures that it took. But um, if you're looking for a Windows phone that's kind of like a budget phone, this phone's actually pretty good. And I was able to kind of show all the apps that are um, on the phone at the moment. Um, there's a bunch of different lenses, it looks like, up here. There's Bing Vision and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how you do a selfie on here. I think it's this one at the top. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Selfie! All right, but I wanted to just kind of go through the app store and kind of go through this phone, kind of walk through it more. There's not a lot about it on YouTube, so, um, and about the Windows phone stores. So um, I was able to kind of get that in my video. So, all right, thanks guys.